Well, I'm here at the RSPB's Radapole Lake Nature Reserve. I'm going to be testing out the new Samsung GX20 DSLR camera. Come down here, it's very close to my home, I live about five minutes away, it's an area I know quite well. So we're going to put it through its paces, photographing some of the local birds here, some of the ducks, the mallards. Possibly a little bit later on we'll try and get something with some swans and things like that. What I'm going to do here, what I'm aiming for, is try and get a shot of the birds. It's a little bit artistic, a little bit more imaginative. Um, I'm going to be using a sort of a, a slow shutter speed to get a, get a sense of motion uh, uh, with the congregation of the birds in the water. Just to get a little bit of help with getting the ducks moving a little bit and in the right area, I've come prepared with my lunch, um, which we're going to feed to the birds, try and get a little bit of motion going. All the time while I'm looking through the viewfinder, I'm just adjusting very slightly the focal length of the zoom lens just to keep the composition right in the camera. Okay, what we're doing here is I'm trying to uh, get, some, get a photograph showing the detail of the feathers of this swan. Now the problem that we've got is that we've got a very brightly coloured bird on a very bright day. Uh, and this is a sort of subject where a lot of cameras, the camera metering systems are going to struggle uh, in order to get an accurate picture because of the bright light and the tone of the subject. The Samsung has got a, uh, an excellent multi-segment metering system which effectively helps to compensate for the tonality of the subject uh, in conditions like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take the shot using the multi-segment metering uh, setting. And then just to show you a comparison, I'll put it onto the spot metering and we'll see how uh, the system actually compensates, as I say, for the tone of the subject um, when you have it in the multi-segment setting. Okay, so we switch it now into spot metering mode where the camera won't compensate and then we'll look at the difference between the two. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm just reviewing the two images we took, close-up images of the swan's feathers at the two different metering settings. This second one which was shot with the camera set to spot metering we can see that, you can obviously see the, the swan's feathers are white, but they're, they're almost grey in their appearance. It's a much darker tone than they actually are in, in natural light. And also you can see here that it's got the shutter speed set at one four thousandth of a second. If you go back to the original image I shot when the, the camera was set to multi-segment metering mode, you can see here that there's a much better uh, rendition of the feathers. They're much whiter, they look much more like they do in real life. And you can see here also the shutter speed the camera slowed it to 1 750th of a second, it's almost two and a half stops um, slower than the spot metering mode. But I think if you compare the two images, that definitely the one on the multi-segment metering is a much better image. And this is the advantage of this type of metering. Um, the camera will actually compensate for the differences in tonality uh, and help to get much more accurate exposures.